Right now at six, a divide over tradition and painful symbols of the past. Texas A&M University now at the center of the Confederate statues controversy. With dueling petitions and this act of vandalism now fueling the debate on and off campus, Lawrence Sullivan Sul Ross was a key figure in Aggie history, a president of the university, and for four years, the governor of Texas. He was also a Confederate Army general during the Civil War, and right now, with the call to end systemic racism in our country, there's a renewed push for these types of statues to come down. Channel 2's Jacob Rascone is light, live at AM tonight, where the Sully statue was vandalized overnight. But, Jacob, that statue has now been covered up there behind you. It has been covered up and also a temporary fence put up in the last hour now blocks off what they call academic plaza with the covered statue there in the middle. You mentioned it was vandalized overnight and now tens of thousands of people have signed those competing petitions. The vandalism includes a vulgar image, face paint, and a wig, the word racist, and BLM, or Black Lives Matter, along with ACAB, all cops are fill in the blank. The 100-year-old Sully statue is the oldest at Texas A&M, honoring Lawrence Sullivan Ross, a brigadier general during the Civil War, as well as a Texas state senator, Texas governor, and president of what became Texas A&M. In recent days, nearly 20,000 people have signed a change.org petition to remove it. Like I said, as a minority, I feel like it should go. It's the right thing to do. Around the same number of people have signed a petition created a day later to keep the statue. Honestly, I would I would like to keep it up slowly, solely because of uh, the fact of what he did for the campus. Again, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. History major Matthew Mullins agrees. There's a classic adage, uh, those who forget history are bound to repeat it. If you forget about people like that, uh, you'll forget about the good that happened and possibly any bad that he had that happened in his life. The fence is here, I'm told, to limit public access while the statue has been cleaned and restored. We have recently also found that there are several protests and demonstrations planned in the next few days for and against. On Saturday, in fact, at the same time, there's one in favor of the statue and then one against. A rep for Black Lives Matter in this area, by the way, says that his members had nothing to do with this vandalism. And by the way, in the past, the president of Texas A&M has said that this statue will stay. Reporting live on campus, Jacob Rascone, KPRC Channel 2 News.